Hello again. Today's little project is going to be rock sculpture. It's where guys make sculptures from natural rocks by balancing them on the tips, on the corners, bends, curves, and basically a balancing act with rocks. But what I'm going to use is wood. So I'll make my own rocks. This scrap stuff that's left over. I don't throw nothing away because you never know when you need it. I'm sure we all like this. The ones that work in these little workshops. So let's crack on and make this rock sculpture. It won't be everybody's cup of tea, but it's something different. First of all, we need our wood. And there it is. Let's start making some rocks. Okay, we've got our general shape of our rock. This is quite a large one, this one. Now, you could leave it quite smooth like that. But unfortunately, rocks do have imperfections. So I'm going to put some holes in, some cracks, and hopefully make it a bit more like a rock. Right, we've done our little chips and grooves and whatever, just to roughen it up a bit. Now you could actually leave it smooth like that, because a lot of stones, rocks are quite smooth. But I found out I like to just uh, just speckle it is the word I'm going to use. Just gives it a bit more texture. So I'll continue finishing this one off. Right, that one's about finished. I've got a few more to make, so I'll continue with those. And then we'll come back and we'll put some stainer on these. It could be linseed oil, Danish oil. I've got a bit of brown wood stainer which I want to throw on. As long as it's not too dark, I don't want to stand out too silly. Yeah, this rock's done. I'll crack on with the rest of them. And we'll put it together and see what our little sculpture looks like.
Right, that's our little stones made now, rocks, shall I say. We'll pull a bit of uh, wood stainer on, linseed, Danish oil, whatever we've got kicking about, and we'll see uh, what it does. There's some here. It's a teak mahogany. I've got a bit of Danish oil. We've got a bit of teak, I think that one. A bit of teak. We'll throw it, mix it all together, do what we can do, and see how it comes out. Okay, there's all our stones done now. Dark mahogany was quite a nice colour. Bit of teak, bit of linseed. I think there's probably a bit of Danish in there and all. But yeah, they're done now. Let's start putting this little sculpture together. Right, we've done our little rock sculpture now. Now, my original plan was to have something like this. These are the actual rocks that I've made, and they would just stand up like that to any design you want. And the effect is, how are they balancing on there? However, when I made me rocks, it generally turned into a little rock man. Rock man and his dog, as we say. And he sat out there, so we're going to have a look in a minute. What I didn't show you was, obviously, to keep the uh, rocks together, it's just a case of a pin nail like that I cut the head off drilled an hole in there drilled an hole in there and put your pin across and just squashed them together a bit of glue on either side just to make sure and they're done so let's go and see Rockman and his dog There we have it, Rockman and his dog, about 20 inches high. Thank you for watching.